joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you so much. connecting to the program i appreciate you wherever you are joining from please as you join the program kindly share the broadcast on your platform share it and create awareness along with us so that we can be able to reach out to people who will join us on this very broadcast we must have to continue to speak to the people we must have to continue to pass this message no matter how they try to stop us from sending informations across we will continue to preach and send this informations across so that the people will hear us the problem we are facing on the social media is not a small one but we will continue no matter what they do we will continue to preach the gospel until we go to where we're going and today we want to talk about another important matter today telling the world that they cannot cause the anointed they cannot cause the chosen one those who are planning to rain their causes on us who are trying to distract us calling us names and all their cause is not going to start you cannot cause the children of Chukwu Gabiama neither will you derail them you cannot give us a name that is not ours the children of Chukwu Gabiama you cannot change us from whom we are we have chosen our part to pursue our freedom that is the part we have chosen. And that part of freedom that we have chosen, we will continue to follow it and pursue it. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter what you believe on your own side, that will not stop us from our own belief. Please share the broadcast as you join. Share it on your platform. Share to family and friends. Share it to anybody that is connected to you. That is the only way we can be able to reach out because people are not getting a notification. You have to help us to share. Share it and let it go wide so that people can join us and get the information as we pass it on. So as I was saying, a lot of things are going on. The propagandists, the blackmailers and the saboteurs, they are not resting. They have continued to push their lies and blackmail. And the funniest thing is that sometimes the kind of people who are speaking this, the, the direction they are passing, you'll be wondering, is it how much people have lost shame? Some people have lost shame, they have lost consciousness, they have lost conscience in them. That they will open up their mouth and begin to speak of things that they do not know about. Today, lie has become the order of the day in that contraption. Lies has become the order of the day. People can lie in issues that you know very well that is a lie. People come online, they say things that they are not sure of. People come online, they begin to push a propaganda. Just because of the hatred they have of Biafra people and the Biafra dictators. I saw a tweet made by the 70 years old man. 70 years old man, whom all of us know that he's supposed to cover himself in shame. He's supposed to cover himself in shame. Who doesn't know whether to go to the right or go to the left? Initially, all these people are the people who were attacking Mazen Nandekan. While Mazen Nandekan was with us, they were attacking Mazen Nandekan and calling him a sort of name. Eventually, when Mazin Nankan was kidnapped, some of them begin to say, Oh, wake up. Oh, oh, oh Mazin Nankan was right. Mazin Nankan was right. So he didn't know he was right all this while. They attacked Mazin Nankan. When Mazin Nankan was telling them what is happening today, that it is, it is going to happen, they never believed it. They were attacking him. They were calling him different kinds of names. 
They were pushing him right, left, and center, giving him all manner of uh, names. And yet, I was supreme as a man. They can never relent in what he was doing. He was still consistently pursuing that which he knows is right in the freedom of the African people. And it is because of the job of Mass and that is why most of us today can stand boldly and begin to claim our identity without any apology. Because of the strength of Mazin Nandekan, because of the strength of Mazin Nandekan and his effort, that is why most of us can be able to stand firm today and continue to claim that which is ours. People who pretended all this while and say that they know this, they know that, that today they can't pretend anymore. So many of them were there while Mazin Nandekan was the door. They never supported him. They hated Mazin Nandekan until when they saw that Mazin Nandekan was kidnapped after the Department of so to have betrayed Mazen Nandekano is kidnapped. Most of them came out and they began to claim that they love Mazen Nandekano. Shedrach, you're welcome. Thank you for joining Shedrach is a Please share the broadcast on your platform. Share to the WhatsApp groups where you belong so that people can join us. Thank you for joining Shedrach. So, so many of them who we are put, pushing their lies, telling them of lies and propaganda, today you see them, they can't hide anymore. Because Mazen Nandekan is around today, they are preaching Mazen Nandekan. Oh, he was right. Oh, Mazen Nandekan was right. We have to support Mazen Nandekan. He was right. He's the one who was saying the truth. But all this while, when Mazen Nandekan was with you, telling you that truth, you never believed him. The same way today. That 70 years old man today is fighting against our spokesperson, Mazen Simon Epa, Making some senseless and useless tweets. Using some derogatory names and statements against Mazen Simon Epa. And as you know, our spokesperson never attacks first. Our spokesperson, Mazen Simon Epa, he never go against anybody first. You will be the first person to throw the stone. And when you throw the stone, he will continue to warn you, be careful. Be careful. Until you get yourself into trouble. Our spokesperson, Mazen Simon Epa, we always warn you in your attitude, whatever thing you are bringing, he always warn you, be careful, be careful, do not fight me. I am not fighting you. You are not my enemy. He will warn them, but they will never listen. Not until when they draw that infest, ant infested firewood. When you draw that ant infested firewood, then you will see the lizard in your own house. And today, the 70 years old man is dragging that ant infested firewood to him, to himself. Peddling lies against our spokesperson. How can you be telling lies against somebody who is still alive? Somebody who is alive in Britain and has access to the internet. One of the most popular figures in Nigeria today on the internet. Our spokesman, Master Simon Epa. Take it or leave it. He's somebody who is not, he, he's not found wanted. You go to Twitter, you will see his tweet. You get information about him. And he went to Twitter and you were tweeting that Master Simon Epa is working for the zoo government. That Mazi Simon Epa is working for Tunubu. That Tunubu sponsored him when he was running the race. That he ran for Lagos State. A blatant lie. That is how, the, the funny thing is that when they want to tell those lies, they won't even go and look for a lie that people can believe. You can't even bring evidence. You bring a verifiable lie. You can't. You hear an information, assuming you get a little more information, you can't even verify your hatred, your wickedness. Could not allow you to verify. <coughs> At least when you get such information, your wickedness should allow you to make a verification. Verify first of all to find out if what you have been told is true or not. Excuse me. <coughs> you have to make verification first. Verify. But they will never go for that verification. All they do is once they get their rumors and their propaganda, once they get information, unverified information, they run with it and they begin to preach it. Their hatred, their wickedness will not allow them to make a verification. The same thing with the Department of Sabotu us. When their agent in Finland we are feeding, was feeding them with all lies, feeding them with all manner of lies, somebody who cannot be able to make any verification of by himself in Finland, he couldn't make a verification. He was only feeding people with lies. 
and the person was able to uh, continue to take that same lie that that guy is telling them without verification. They come to media and they begin to preach to the gullible ones. And those gullible ones will begin to listen to them. That is the same thing the 70 years old man is in today. Who knows where he got such information? Our spokesperson, Master Simon Epa, everything he did while he was in Nigeria is on record. The record is there, it's verifiable. You can go and verify which states he ran race for. Which race state he ran for? It was Delta State. You can go and verify it. He is working for Tinubu. Is he working for Tinubu? And yet the federal government of Nigeria is calling Finland attention about him. Is he working for, for Tinubu? And yet they, they are inviting him on different places, taking his name even to some media stations to go and talk about it. You just feel comfortable in lying, distracting yourself, in making yourself look irresponsible. The same way you were doing. While Mazen Nandekan was around, you were standing against Mazen Nandekan. You were talking against Mazen Nandekan. Until when you went out to go and protest and they tear gassed you. They beat you up in broad daylight. And since then, you didn't learn your lesson. All you went is they come back and say, oh, Nandekan was right. You know, he saw the Nandekan that called Nigeria is zoo. Nigeria is not even a zoo. Nigeria is a jungle. You begin to confess. After Mazen Nandekan had been kidnapped, after things have been destroyed, you began to confess. Today you see Mazen Nandekan as an angel. Here we are again. Our spokesperson, Mazen Nandekan, have not taken the battle. Have taken the battle to make sure that the people will have their freedom in 2023. In that agenda of making sure we have freedom, doing everything possible, going for several meetings and making some exposition, expositions. You are not satisfied. Today you are hating him. You are calling him name. You are calling him name. Lying against him. And tomorrow when he is no longer around, then you begin to say, oh, that guy, that young man was doing the right thing. He was, doing the right, I, 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 he, he, he was right. That is how many of them are. So many of them are very senseless. And it's so sad that it is much common, much common among the Igbo Biafrans. Very common among the Igbo Biafrans. They will never value their own when they are supposed to value it. They will never give you regard at that very point in time when they are supposed to. They will wait until when you have a problem. Until when you have a problem when you are no more. Ah, you see them begin to write long, long episodes. Shout, shake, sing praises. But you cannot, no matter what you do, you cannot bring down the chosen one. Whoever Chukwu Kukabin have raised up, you cannot bring him down. No matter how you try, you're only wasting your time. Every attack you make against Master Simon Ekwa will propel him to the highest level. Every single attack you make against our spokesperson, Master Simon Ekwa, will propel him to the highest level. So keep on attacking him. Keep on with your blackmail and propaganda and lies. And the more you attack him, the more you make yourself irrelevant and stupid in the eyes of the people. Because every of your attack and propaganda blackmail are based on lies. Lies that are very, very easy to debunk. Lies that are open to the whole world. And the whole world is seeing you that you are lying. And yet, you don't feel ashamed of it. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Even though most of you have lost shame. How are you going to shame the shameless person? Somebody who is shameless. How are you going to shame the short person? That's not you can do about it. Our spokesperson, Master Simon Eber, remains the only man standing, speaking for the beer from people. And it doesn't matter what anybody does. We are standing on our ground to make sure that Biafra is restored. The things that matters that are supposed to talk about, they are not talking about it. Issues that consign Biafran people that arise in, in that contraption, they will never come up and talk about it. Or oh, they will not talk about it. All these so-called elites will not come about it. The media world or tops will not talk about it. They will only be waiting until when Master Simon can make a response, then you see them coming out from all their corners to talk trash. Today, the Biafran people, their businesses were destroying Lagos. That 70 years old man, did you hear him talk? 
Did you hear him speak? What was his own reaction? Did you see him react? The 70 years old man, he never reacted. Properties of his fellow Biafrans, you are born to the house is destroyed. Every properties, business is destroyed. He didn't make a, a utter statement. They only wait until when Master Simon speaks a word, then they will come out and begin to talk trash. How are you going to protest for what is happening to the Biafran people in Lagos State? How? How do you intend to protest? How do you intend to protest when you know that you cannot protest in the street? If you protest in the street, they are going to shoot you. And you know that there is nobody you can complain to. They won't listen to you. You do not have somebody to talk to in the House of Assembly. You don't have any House of Senate. Nobody you can talk to. Nobody can stand for you. How then do you want to make your voice heard? Every single one of them that is condemning Marjorie Simon Eka for calling for sit at home in Lagos. Tell me, how do you want the people who you destroy their properties and their lives to make their own case? How? In Nigeria, how do you want them to make the case? When you know that they have no representation. They have no representation anyway. And the only man that has a suggestion came out and said, we have to sit at home. And you condemn it. You attack it. You unleash your trouble from all corners. Do you think that that's going to make you right? Do you think that that will make you relevant? It will only destroy you the more. The Biafran people already know the person that is speaking for them. The Biafran people already know the direction they are supposed to go. It is no longer time where we beg and talk and shout and begin to convince them. There's no more time for that. In the era that we are now, every single hidden thing is in the open. You saw the, the audio that was leaked from the Department of Sabo to us, those who have been claiming all this while, claiming to be fighting for Biafra. Those who have been pushing on one of lie against Master Simon Epa. When something happened in Biafra land, they will tell his Master Simon Epa. When something happened, they say they will blame him. Today, they are busted. They have been busted. We saw their video. How they were planning all the atrocities in Biafra land. How they gather together to go and begin to work for the politicians. How politicians direct them to write a memo. To write a speech. To write a press statement. And they do. On behalf of the politician. How politicians use them as a political talks. These are people who supposedly, to fight, supposedly have to fight for Biafra. People who have been working with Mazin Nandekano, who knows very well, Mazin Nandekano has nothing to do with the politics of Nigeria. He has nothing to do with any politician in Nigeria. IPOB, Indigenous Rule of Biafra, is for the restoration of Biafra and not with a political party. They has nothing to do with anything called politics. But today, the Department of Sabo Tours are using that name for political gain, for selfish interests, for all manner of evil. But I thank you, Kuo Kukama, that we are not keeping it silent. That even beforehand, even beforehand, our spokesperson, Master Simon Epa, saw what was coming. And a referendum was conducted by the whole Biafra, and Biafrans rejected them. Biafrans passed the, the, uh, the vote of no confidence on them. Master Simon Epa conducted that on his platform, which many of us attended. The Biafran people passed the vote of no confidence on them. And since then, they have been removed from IPOB. They are not part of what we are doing. And we never did. That is why today you see them running from pillar to pole, exposing Biafran to danger. The gullible ones who doesn't know what is happening. And I believe this last one that has happened in Abia State will now teach people a lesson. This very last one that happened in Abia State will be a wake-up call to some people who are still sleeping. That these people have nothing to offer. They have nothing to offer you. The only thing they do is to expose you to danger the more. Biafra is going to come. It doesn't matter what anybody does. It doesn't matter what you think. or what. The only thing we are talking about today is that people should make sure they don't lose their crown. Do not go and lose your life because we are in Biafra. We are almost in Biafra. 
you must be very careful with every action that you take. Be very careful with the people you listen to. Be very careful with where you go. Those are what you are supposed to do at this particular point in time. Please share the brokers. Share the brokers as you join. You share the brokers on your platform. Share it to family and friends. Share the brokers on any WhatsApp group you belong. Kindly share the brokers so that people can join us and we continue. So there is nothing, there is nothing anybody can do to stop us. There's nothing anybody can do to stop us from marching forward into that promised land. As I have always said, we are not speaking of Biafra coming because we love to or want to. But it is something that is mandated by Chukwu Kukai Bema for us to do. It is a mandate from above that Biafra will come. And it is in this year. That is why you see us pushing all buttons. You see our spokesman, Master Simon Epa, restlessly going from places to places, making even diplomatic moves on different angles. That is the right thing to do. That's the right thing. Some of them will be asking you what our Master Simon Epa done. That is how, how stupid they are. If you want to know what Master Simon Epa has done, follow him diligently and listen to what he says. If you feel you don't know what Master Samuel has done, follow him, pay attention, follow diligently. Then you begin to understand what he has done. You begin to understand his areas and where he's going. How dare you begin to talk about what somebody has done and what he has not done when you are not paying attention, when you are not his followers. Master Samuel has done a lot and still doing much more. Today what they do is everybody is against him. The same thing they did to Mazen Nandekano. The same fate that Mazen Nandekano suffered. That is what Man Samaneka is fighting today. They call him woman of name. They dehumanize him. But he has said it in his own mouth that he will be their end. And I bet you, Mazen Samaneka declaration is going to be the end of every one of them. Every single one of these people fighting against the coming of Biafra, he will be their end. He will definitely be their end. Chukwu Vikaman have brought him from nowhere, from where you cannot imagine. And his appearance is miraculous. So many of us don't know him. We only see him online. He comes and preach. He will say someone ever said. Initially, when he was coming, they will say he's nobody. He was addressed as Mr. Nobody. The department of Sabo Tua with their Iraqs, they were calling him Mr. Nobody. He is nobody, he is nobody. From his nobody today, he has become the the, high, the the most trending name you can get online. The most trending name, an Nigerian name that is trending. People know him. And not just about the trending. He has made waves, even in his own country where he is. In the country where he is, somebody who could be able to draw the attention of the embassy of his own country and Nigeria embassy to have a discussion. Is it easy? If you think it's easy, do it on your own area. Make the embassy of your country begin to talk about you. Raise up a dis diplomatic dis di discussion. L raise a diplomatic move between you, between Nigeria and the country where you, you, you are located. If you feel you have what it takes. But our spokesperson, Master Samaneka, has done it. And yet he still stands there. Just like that audio that leaked where they were discussing how they pulled Mazi Samarapa down, how they gave him how many thousand charges, how this and that, how this and that. Today, that same man you talked about, he is still broadcasting, speaking boldly, doing every single thing he has been doing. He is doing, even increasing it. He has increased it. Today, we have diplomatic, diplomatic mission in many, many countries. Dear France, today we have our conflict in the United, United, uh, in the in the in, in, in US, we have a liaison office today in US, and so many other countries who open a liaison office on behalf of Biafra. We didn't have that before. The Biafra government in exile, which Mazen not they cannot establish, has not been activated until this time. Mazen Simon Nekwa took the bull by the horn and he activated it, and today they are functioning and working. You don't know what he has done. The people you are following, who you claim they are your this and that, what have they done? What plan do they have? What plan do they have?